Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am sharing with you a car I have been waiting for ever since the beginning of the year when it was revealed and I'm sure you all have been waiting for for a long time. This is the VRC Forenzo 49P or in its non-copyright name of course the Ferrari 499P LMH car that races in WEC. This car man, I absolutely love it. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to VRC for giving me a few days early access to this thing to really be able to drive it and share with you everything that I have discovered across like 150 kilometers of driving over the last few days. Uh, so a lot to talk about here today. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right in first of all with the specs of the car just so you kind of know what we're working with here. It's of course an LMH car. It's a top of the line prototype. It's going to be generating 690 97 wheel horsepower 670 newton meters of torque now that is of course dependent on the setting you have the electric motor on um, so if you have it of course higher you're going to be making more power lower not as much but it weighs a thousand and thirty kilograms as well there is a whole manual dedicated to this car but don't worry it's not super duper long i do highly recommend you look through it especially if you have the vrc peugeot 9x8 it's definitely Definitely very similar to that. In fact, a lot of the keybinds you have through VRC's extended controls app should be ported over immediately and it should be pretty plug and play. But if this is your first VRC car with the extended controls, and I really, really do stress that you go through, look at that manual, uh, make sure you go into the extended controls app, set all your keybinds uh, so you can get the most out of this car because it is super detailed. Again, some of the most detailed cars we have here in a Soto Corsa, uh, VRC has done a ton of work on the back end and it really shows. In terms of the model quality of the car, it is of course fantastic. It also comes with some non-copyright liveries of course, but does come with all of the 2024 liveries including the yellow Ferrari as well as the 2023 liveries as well. Uh, so whichever flavor you're going for, you will have that option and it's just an absolutely beautiful looking car. The Ferrari is my favorite LMH car, uh, so I'm super happy to have it here in Assetto Corsa in such a good way. Uh, in terms of the sounds of the car, this thing is also fantastic. Uh, I said this originally, especially with the Formula Alpha 2023 and everything since then, and even before then, but really since then, they have just done absolutely fantastic work with the sounds. This thing is perfect, literally going back to uh, some replays, onboard replays of the real car. I don't know how much closer you can get. This thing sounds fantastic. And one thing that I'm glad they have accurately done, even though some people might not really like the sound, is how loud the electric motor is. Um, if you get into the car and you go, that seems a little loud. It's actually not. Go look at some onboards. Um, so I'm really happy that that has been modeled and it just sounds so, so good. In terms of the physics, of course, comparing it to the Peugeot 9x8, they're two very different aero philosophies. Uh, of course, the Peugeot is ground effect, so it's generating all of its downforce from under the car. Ferrari's a lot more conventional with overbody downforce. Personally, I prefer how the Ferrari drives, um, but they both feel amazing, and especially this Ferrari, I have no complaints. This thing feels very good. Comparing it to Le Mans Ultimate is really difficult because our factors physically engine is just completely different to a set of Corsa uh, and they definitely have some weird quirks in that one but I like to say that they feel pretty similar in the broad strokes in terms of where the car understeers and oversteers and things like that and going around some tracks that I have in iRacing with the uh, LMDH cars that we have in that game uh, I'm doing very similar lap times so that's always great to see these things are super fun I'm sure for most of you this this is going to be a pretty no-brainer buy, but just in case you're on the fence, I really do recommend you check this out, especially if you're a fan of endurance racing and prototypes. This thing is the absolute pinnacle of a Seto Corsa car mod right now, and it is absolutely fantastic. Especially now with VRC working on all of the LMH cars and RSS working on all of the LMDH slash GTP cars, I am very happy and excited. We're finally getting super 
super high quality versions of this new era of prototype racing here in Assetto Corsa and I'm just very excited to see what's to come. In fact, by the time this video comes out, since I'm pre-recording it, we might know what's coming next from VRC. They might do a little teaser at the end of the release video like they did with the Peugeot. I do not know. We will see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Be sure you check out my second channel, JC Racing, as well. And once again, thank you to the VRC dev for giving me a little bit of early access. You guys did a fantastic job. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.